perspective or, oh, Miss Sylvia's going to be upset if I ruin this. You know, I, I want you to give yourself credit for taking the time and being willing to make some art and to use, you know, use the good stuff, right? You'll get, it, this paper will allow you to move beautifully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read some instructions for you. So this is a book I discovered this summer, Mindfulness and the Art of Drawing. Okay, so this is, um, it. the exercise that we're about to do is not so much about mindfulness, like breathing and stuff like that, but it's about being thoughtful and present. Um, Bella, what's your brother's name? Brayden. Brayden. Hey, Brayden, I'm Miss Sylvia. I'm so psyched that you got to join our class today. Can you say hi to Miss Sylvia? Hi, Sylvia. Hi. <laughs> yep, you are one of our future artists, aren't you? Oh, he loves to draw on everything. Awesome. You can give him the big brown paper, let him go to town. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, where should I start here? All right, so you can do this any place you have space for. Um, and in fact, I would encourage you to do this in a variety of different positions. So if you're sitting on the floor now, that's fine. Maybe you could get up and crouch and you know bend over, move around, do whatever you want. Try it in different positions um, because every time you move your body, it's gonna change how you experience your drawing. And therefore, it's gonna affect the marks that you make. So first, everybody's gonna close your eyes and hold your drawing utensil in your hand. And um, Bella, if you, if you don't wanna close your eyes because you're keeping track of something, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna move somewhere where I can actually do this while he does this too. So I will do the closing of the eyes in like two seconds. Okay. Yeah. All right, so with your eyes, can you close your eyes, Brayden? With your eyes closed, hold your whatever you're drawing with and connect with the feeling of it in your hand. I purposely gave you something other than a pencil because I want you to feel how it feels, feel the difference, and feel how you want to hold it. You don't have to hold it like a pencil. You can hold it in a different way. So explore it um, and think about, like as a true beginner, think about you know what do you have in your hand and what are you going to do for it. So then I want you to take um, like three deep breaths, and I'm going to stop talking here for a minute so you can do that and just focus on your breath. So follow your breath in and out of your body, focusing on the point in your torso where it's easiest to feel it. For some people, this is the chest. For others, the solar plexus above the belly button. And for others, it may be lower down in your belly. Rest your awareness in different locations until you find the spot that feels comfortable to focus on and where you can clearly feel the breath. See if you can notice the complete cycle of a breath all the way in and all the way out. You may notice that sometimes a breath is deep and full and other times shallow or tight. Don't try to control the breath. Let it breathe you. Remember, you don't have to do anything or make anything happen. All you need to do is relax right now and breathe. As you do this, you may notice your mind wandering off, pursuing some idea or other. If that happens, don't worry. That's just the thinking mind doing what it does. Just gently bring it back to your focus, which is currently the breath. When you feel that you're a little more centered, with your eyes still closed, you can place your drawing utensil on the paper.
Keep focusing on your breath. Let it flow naturally, but now allow your hand, your wrist, arm, and shoulder to start to move with the breath. Let the movement just emerge. See what shapes naturally come from feeling your breath and moving with it. Some people find they want to make small marks, others large ones. Some marks are circular, others are spiky or in straight lines. This is like doodling. There are no rights or wrongs, just marks. Keep your focus on the feeling of your whole body as you draw and also on your breath. This is a butterfly light attention, moving, flickering between the two. Breath, body, mark. Breath, body, mark. Notice how when you move your hand, your wrist and shoulder move too. Where else can you feel your drawing? In your back, your hips or legs? Keep that light sense of the breadth and of your body. Notice if you can if anything becomes tense and soften around it if possible. If it's not possible, just allow the tension to be there. When you've finished drawing with the breath, Keep your eyes closed for a few more moments and notice the sen sensations in your hands and how stillness feels. Then you can open your eyes and look at the marks you've made. So I'm noticing that the people with their videos on have their eyes open. There's a couple people without videos, so I'll give you a minute to finish up. So who can share with me an observation of what that was like? My little sister was just talking about it, so I'm going to have to... Um, so sometimes... <laughs> sometimes I was feeling swirls, but also sometimes I was feeling an ant symbol. Ah! So Thank you. I keep making like distorted shapes of like stuff I'm thinking about. Like 
I don't know how to explain it, but I was like thought back to when we were doing that thing last year where we like closed our eyes and, and like or not closed our eyes but only stared at the plant and tried to draw the plant on a piece of paper yep so I ended up drawing like I ended up doing like a, the same kind of leaves that I did then and then when you were talking about like oh like where do you feel your like the breath and the drawing like in your body like where is it like how much straining I was like the hip and so then I like drew a sort of like a hip bone kind of thing so I guess I kind of was like drawing what I was thinking so you were turning thoughts into marks. I guess so, but I didn't realize I was really doing that, which is weird. My lines got a lot darker as I went on. Do you have any idea of why? I think it's because of just like how I am feeling today like emotionally today has been horrible so I think that as I was breathing and becoming like more relaxed it was like coming out more than when I started this more like stiff that's awesome yeah so you were sort of leaning into it more and the marks were getting darker nice I feel like my linear and expressionist like I watched my little sister and she has like she takes up a very small portion of, of the thing whereas I took up a really good portion and also some of our table um <laughs> there's there's more to ground marks in our table um but like can be very like angular and like out there in my strokes whereas like I my little sister just can use my main strokes and like Did um, everyone do theirs in one line, like, or did people pick up their pencil and move it? Because I did mine in completely one line. I never picked up my hand. Yeah, yeah so I, I picked my pencil up once or twice, or thing I was using to draw. I found my marks were, like, really light and wispy, like, because I was just, like, kind of moving with, like, inhales and, out, like, exhales, so it was just, like, kind of like that on the page very feather light yeah yeah for some reason my shape looks like a rabbit i don't know how that happened and like something looks like a rabbit and then not show us okay wait how do i okay, let's see i'll pre you into it i don't care hi so like i feel like this looks like a rabbit in my opinion oh it does yeah, like, I don't know how that happened. It also kind of looks like a mountain range. Oh, well, I'm seeing rabbit, like, okay, like, how do I? This is, like, ear, and this is eye. I'm trying to, like, make sure the light is on. And now it's tearing apart. <laughs> you guys get the idea. It's kind of a rabbit. <laughs> so there is a part two to this, but I don't think we'll do it today. Um, we'll do it again in a, in a week or so. Bella, were you able to get some drawing, or do you want to do it again later with the recording? Um, I did, and then my brother took over the whatever it's called, and he is going to, like, town on this paper, doing lines and all sorts of stuff. So, like, mine is, like, where did you... Is in, like, a fraction of the entire scribbled page. Nice. I love Art. collaborations like that. I Some of my favorite pieces of art from when I was in college, my um, foreign... My brother, who was four or five and six at the time, helped me with. I love him. Um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to. Um, let's see. I'm going to show you <laughs> the uh, the one I did a while ago. I'm sharing my screen. I'm hoping you can see that. Um, I taped together two rectangular lithographs. And I did this standing up upstairs. So this is probably four feet long by maybe two and a half feet wide. Um, and I did it first just with uh, like a black charcoal. And then I went back in with some um, crepa. And I really enjoyed sort of making those marks. I think these marks are very much my marks. And if you guys, if we compared all of your drawings, like with your normal artwork, I think you'll see similarities and it's kind of like almost like our, our signature. 
And then I took um, some acrylic paint that I watered down with gel medium to make it transparent and just swiped it across as if, it, you know, using a squeegee as if I were doing screen printing to kind of pick up on some of the colors. And I have, I have some ideas in mind of where I want to go with this next. But I really enjoyed um, the process and I liked sort of the, the being present in the moment and just, you know, making something and focusing on the physical act of making it. Um, and, and I really wanted, I, I've been waiting like all summer to do this with you guys. Um, and so the pieces that you just made, I, I, I want you to do with them whatever you want. If you want to roll them up and recycle them, never look at them again. That's one thing. That's absolutely fine. Um, if you want to keep them around and play with them or go back to them when you have five or ten minutes of quiet um, and use it as a way to like center yourself, you know, and take a deep breath and just make some marks just for the pure joy of of mark making and, and not the pressure of like having to make a piece of art that looks like something and becomes something. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. 